YouTube, it's Nayim Nappy, and I'm back for another Tip Tuesday. Now this week we are finishing up our series on is Conecolon hair toxic? If you missed the first part of the video where I discussed the first two fibers, the Moto Acrylic and the PVC, you wanna click the link right above here. And we're ready for the next two fibers and let's go ahead and get started. So the next two fibers on our list are the Flame Retardant Polyester Fiber and the Organic Protein Fiber. So let's start with the first one. So the flame retardant polyester fiber is composed of polyethylene terephthalate. All right, so let's investigate a little bit of what is polyethylene terephthalate. And from this point forward, I'm gonna be calling it PET, as that is one of its nicknames, um, PET. So what is PET? PET, or PET, is actually a plastic. So I went right to EWG Skin Deep website to find out where it ranks on the toxicity level and to help me begin my research. Now surprisingly I found out that PET is actually on a scale of one, which means it is very fair. So what I noticed this is that it's not really classified as a um, environmental toxin. It might be expected to be toxic because research is always changing on this, but right now there is no real studies exactly on this particular toxicity. So I wanted to dig a little further and learn a little bit more about PET before I just completely write this off as something safe. Now PET surprisingly is actually in a lot of our day-to-day -day, um, products. As I was Googling, I realized that PET is actually the plastic that's used to make water bottles, um, yogurt bottles, ketchup bottles. It is the plastic that makes up this product. And basically it's made from combining a hydrocarbon, a derived crude oil, along with a natural gas to actually create these fibers. Now, the only thing that I saw that gave me a little bit of pause was this, that 90% of PET or PET products manufactured worldwide are created with this chemical you called antimony trioxide. Now, so this is only 90% of products are made with this. Antimony is labeled as a possible carcinogen. It can leak out into bottled water, and they found it actually clothes that are made from polyester leak a little bit of antimony if antimony was used to create the products. Now, of course, the study said that it releases such a small, small amount of antimony that they're right now, the government and the FDA don't claim that it's toxic for you, which is why we're allowed to drink bottled water out of it and wear clothes that are made from polyester. So I would say right now, the studies are inconclusive of whether the little minutiae that are being uh, released are toxic or not to our bodies, but it is releasing um, some type of small chemicals if it is created with antimony. Now you guys, as I was doing my research, I actually got an email from a company called Easy Braids. And basically they were stating that in my previous video that all the information and research that I'd done was true. And they said that their products are PVC free, acrylic nitrile free. And so I wanted to do a little bit of research on them to find out what product they were, or what ingredient they were using to make their, their hair. So of course, you know, I went onto their website, you guys, and I saw all the things that they said on their website that they said in the email to me to be true. Now, of course I was like, okay, this sounds great. And I was like, let me try and find out what fibers this hair is made from. And of course, I couldn't really see anything on their site except for it said Spectra Hair. Now, let me tell y'all, I had to do some digging. I'll insert this clip here of what I found on Spectra Hair. I found that Spectra antibiotic fibers are made basically from PET or PP. And that again is the pet that we just learned about. And I happened to find their patents on it, their trademarks, and that's where I found out how their products are made. Um, again, it says that they're antibacterial. They actually coat their hair with a zinc sulfide, which is like a harmless sheath that um, goes around um, the core of the hair. And it helps destroy any membranes that, are, um, that contain bacteria or anything like that. So I thought this would be a nice alternative for those who might be interested in looking to purchase hair um, that is non-toxic. And I'll say this is currently according to what the research has. Just note you guys, all research is constantly changing. And when it comes to things such as plastics, that is also an evolving research. So what may be safe now may not be safe 10 years. 10 years from now. You have to think about it like BPA in water or BPA in plastics was actually fine a few years ago. And recently we learned BPA in plastics is actually very toxic. 
So for now, I'm gonna say, according to the research, that the PET or the PET hair is actually okay, according to the FDA. They say they're releasing such minimal amounts of antimony if it is cre created with antimony. So now I emailed this company to find out what they use to um, produce the hair to see if there is any additional toxins that could possibly be toxic, but I'll let you guys know in the comment section and on my blog if I find out more information for you guys, okay? All right, finally we're gonna discuss the final um, fibers on the website, and that is organic collagen protein hair. And I had a little trouble trying to find this um, more information on it since the original links on the website have become dead. But the only thing I could see right now is that the brand who made it was called Ultima Hair. Now I happened to find their patent and see that basically they used um, regenerated collagen to make this type of hair. They use the collagen fiber along with monofunctional epoxy compound and a metal aluminum salt to help um, mix this compound, heat it up, and then create more fibers. From the process of what I see here, it looks like a normal uh, process, nothing extremely added to it, but I couldn't find much more research on it than this, and I'd be happy to link this down below for you guys to decide if you wanna try this hair because it looks like it is just regenerated collagen compounds. So I can say, you guys, the safest hair that you have is the one that grows out of your, your scalp because you can choose what chemicals or toxins that you wanna add to it or not add to it. So that's it, you guys, for this week. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Um, I'll also link all the information in my blog post as well in the description box for you guys. Let me know down below if you guys would be still willing to try out the PET Connect Line hair or perhaps the organic um, collagen fiber hair. I'll leave it down in the description box and tell me why you would or why you wouldn't. But that's it for this week, you guys. If you guys find any other types of hair that I can do research on, you can also leave that down below. So don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, again, let me know. And I'll try to answer them for you. But that's it for this week's Tip Tuesday. I'll see you next time. Bye.